great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. God has been faithful to us. And it is because of his faithfulness why we are here this morning for the Thanksgiving service of Sister Vera Patrice. And this time of the opening prayer will be done by Reverend Josephine Hoffman. Let us pray. Eternal and most righteous Father, we glorify your name this morning. Lord, we thank you for being our God. And we thank you, Lord, that you are here with us because you said there are two or three are gathered together, touching anything concerning you, your day. And Lord, your daughter that just passed on concerning because she was your child. And Lord, the family members concern you because you love and care for them. And so we know you're here this morning. And we ask you, dear Heavenly Father, to take over this service, this Thanksgiving service. And Lord, we want to really give you thanks for Sister Hutchinson, that you are Lord to be born and kept until such a time, until you are ready to take her home. We thank you. And Lord, we come into service into your hand. And we ask you, Lord, to glorify yourself in every aspect of this service this morning. To you be all the honor, the glory, the praise, and the adoration. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. You may be seated. Reading from verse 13 to verse 16. That's 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, reading from verse 13 to verse 16. And Mr. Lindo will be doing the reading for us. Shalom. First Thessalonians 4, 13. But I would have, but I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so then, also which sleep in Jesus, will God bring with him. For this we say unto you, by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord, shall not prevent them which are asleep. Uh, thanks be to God. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the church of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise. There in the three thanks be to God. We have a selection. I don't see any name here. And also we have two open tributes. I'm not sure if there's anyone that would want to say something on behalf of Sister Hutchinson. If there's such a person, I'm going to ask you to come at this time before we go in the second reading.
that we want to see him and to look up at his face and his face when he will say to us well done the good and faithful servant you may be seated comfort one another with these words wherefore comfort one another with these words father we give you thanks this morning we praise you we glorify you and we magnify you we thank you almighty god for your faithfulness and we thank you for your goodness towards us lord as we are about to go in the sermon at this time we pray almighty god that your holy spirit will speak through me to us your people that are here this morning and those that are watching virtually we pray god that the holy spirit will convict those that do not know you as lord and savior and may holy spirit lord remain rest upon us who are your children who know you as Lord and Savior, to be faithful to you in this time of bereavement. May you continue to bless us and to keep us in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. Thank you, Lord. Before I get into the message, let me give condolences to the bereaved family and the half of the and the other Reverend Dong and his family. Um, he is praying for the family and is encouraging you to maintain your faith in the Lord. Please accept condolences and the of the Dong's family. God bless you. This morning, I want to speak to us for a very brief moment and the topic, take comfort, take comfort, take comfort because our hope is in Christ Jesus. Here we as children of God, we are reminded by the Apostle Paul that we are to take comfort when someone dies because we are children of God we are in Christ Jesus so our hope is not in this life our hope is in the resurrected Lord as we look at the text this morning we will see where the Apostle Paul wrote this letter to the believers in Thessalonica, reminding them that they are not to be ignorant concerning those that are asleep. What was really happening is that the believers in Thessalonica, when someone died, they believed that that was the end of their journey. They were confused they were perplexed, they were feeling disappointed, they were feeling distressed when someone dies. And therefore, this came to Paul's attention and he penned this letter to them, telling them that they are to take comfort in the Lord. So, when one dies, fret not yourself, because the believer sleeps in the Lord. The believer is sleeping in Christ Jesus. No, when you may ask the question, how oh, does one really sleep in Christ Jesus? First of all, we have to accept him as our Lord and Savior. As we have been reminded that we were all born in sin and shared in iniquity. 
But Jesus himself, he came to earth and he took on our sins and he nailed it to the cross. So Jesus Christ becomes our savior. So our life is not about us anymore, but our life is about Christ because our life is now hidden with Christ Jesus. Our life is now hidden in Christ Jesus. So Paul was saying, take comfort when someone dies because they are sleeping in Christ. Therefore, sorrow not because our hope is not in this life. Our hope is in the next life. That life is in Christ Jesus. So Paul was saying, take courage. Paul was saying, do not be dismayed. And the scripture went on to say, for if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Christ Jesus will God bring with him. So when Christ returns, those who sleep in Christ Jesus, God himself will bring us with him. In other words, we will be glorified with him. Sister Hutchinson has gone on to be with the Lord. Sister Hutchinson is now sleeping in the Lord. She is taking her rest in the Lord. Therefore, she rests from her labor here on earth. When we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we accept him and he has given us the responsibility to live a life that is pleasing to him. And that responsibility comes with carrying out the work of the Great Commission. And Sister Hutchinson has done that. She has a witness to unsay. She encouraged and saved to surrender their lives to the Lord. And she is now resting in the arms of the Lord. She is resting from her labor here on earth. Her labor here on earth is finished. And therefore, we who know Jesus Christ, Sister Hutchinson, who know the Lord Jesus Christ, because she has Jesus Christ as our, Lord, as our Lord and Savior, she will rise again from the dead when Christ himself returns. Jesus died and rose. We who are in Christ Jesus, when we die and when Christ himself comes back for us, we who, we who are alive and remain shall be caught up with him. But those that die, the grave cannot and will not hold their body down. Jesus is the first fruit from the resurrection. And because of that, we who as believers die in Christ Jesus, like Sister Hutchinson, we will raise again. That is why Jesus himself reminded his disciples, let not your heart be troubled. He believed in God. Believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there he may be also. Jesus has gone to prepare a place for us as his children. And Jesus himself will be coming back for us. Those who believe in the death 
the burial and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So I am here to say to the family this morning that all hope is not lost because Sister Hutchinson accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And she has gone to be with the Lord. She has gone to be at a better place. All the trials, all the temptations, all the frustration and this planet Earth is finished with. Take comfort, family members, those of you that are here, those of you that are watching us virtually, take comfort knowing that your mother and your grandmother and your auntie and so on is now resting in the arms of the Almighty God. You too can see her again. But you will have to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. So when Jesus himself returns, we too will be caught up with him. Jesus will be coming for his people. Jesus will not be coming back for the entire world, but he will be coming back for those who accept him as Lord and Savior. Those who have been washed in his blood. Those who we have called from out of darkness into this marvelous light. Jesus himself will be coming back. And it is in the text. Because the text tells us, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. And this shout will be a victorious shout. This shout will be a glorious shout. And we who are in Christ Jesus, we will be caught up with him. And therefore, do not worry, because Jesus will not even send in angels for us. He himself will be descending from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangels, and with the shout. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with him in the clouds. To meet the Lord in the here. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. So Paul was saying to the church in Thessalonica, all is not lost. So therefore, when someone dies, comfort them with these words. That we too will be caught up with him. That is why the Apostle Paul in writing to Timothy reminded Timothy, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course and I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous church, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all them also that love is appearing. Is appearing. So, Sister Hutchinson and all those who die in Christ Jesus, they will also receive a crown, a crown of glory, a crown of righteousness. This is not a man-made crown. And therefore, I want to encourage us who are alive and remain here. I want to encourage us that if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, today is the acceptable day of salvation. Tomorrow is promised to no man. You don't know what tomorrow will bring. Today, right now, is the acceptable day of salvation. You and I can get a crown or wear that crown. This corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, 
be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. This is the word of the Lord.
and became a member of this assembly on the 2nd of August, 1981, over 40 years ago. On behalf of this congregation, I want to say that she was a blessing to us. She was a faithful woman of God. She tried to attend church as often as she could. And one of the things I remember about her is that beautiful smile, that warmth with which she greeted the brethren, that, that loving, caring spirit. When you left out of Sister Hutchinson's presence, you felt good about yourself. She was a good woman. And I personally want to thank God, and I believe I say, for everybody who have had the privilege to fellowship with her at this assembly, that she was a blessing to all of us, faithful in all of her doings. My days are filled with laughter.
benediction. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the full fellowship of His Holy Spirit, rest, remain, and abide with us all, now and forever. Shalom, shalom, shalom. God bless you. Thank you for participating as we will now be going to the Denby Cemetery for the committal. God bless you all and thank you again. Send feet, the send feet.
My daddy. Yes, man, everything good, man. Where then? But we don't have rest and food. Yes, Basta. Yes, me have it. Come you, 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 Straight, straight like pasta. Yeah, man, make sure it's a straight. Looking from here, so it looks straight and natural. All down your head, yeah. You can't come down. Look over at this. You sure? Yeah. You're clear on that side? Yes. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. You know, I'm not too old. I'm not too old. I'm Alright. Alright. She wanted to see. Come on. Hold on. I'm going to show you her now. Bag oh, put him bag in there. Put him back in there. Back back. Bring your handbag. Yes, bring your handbag. Oh, yes, oh, bring your handbag. Oh, she looks the same. Yes, yes. And our nice dress and everything. And our scarf. You see her? Can you see her? 
Heaven, right. Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, say the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. We are here this morning, good morning, to commit to rest the remains of our loved ones, Sister Hutchinson. As we say, dust yeah. to dust and ashes yeah. to yeah. ashes. May our soul no. rest in peace. Put them on the ground. Hold on, put them on the ground. You have to come across on the ground. Stand up like one. Put one foot, that's one foot. Where shall we put them now? When it lift, lift up the board. Lift. 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 As family members and friends mourn the loss of their loved ones, we pray, Father, that your Holy Spirit will comfort their hearts at this time. May they look to you, who is our comforter. We thank you for her life. We thank you, Almighty God, that you have allowed her to be with us here on this planet Earth for over 90 years. May you help us, Almighty God, to learn from her life that she accept you as Lord and Savior. May you comfort the heart of those who mourn at this time, knowing that you are our refuge and strength, our very present hell in trouble. As we look to you, the earth and finish off our faith, as we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. All right, as we, we have a program with you, we have some hymns which we'll be singing. You can put over those things on. Long time, man. Concrete, concrete. Mata, mata. The big truck alone is all stuck. I had a two yard of sand. And we black up. Our left yard render. And can't see the black hole. To our home, God's celestial shore.
I fly away. rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus we will sing shout shout the victory because we are overcomers hallelujah sing the wondrous love of Jesus sing his glory too low too low too sing the Sing the wondrous love of Jesus, sing his mercy, and his grace. In the mansion, bright and blessed, we all see Jesus. We will sing and shout the victory. While we walk the pilgrim's path with love will overspread the sky. But when traveling days are over, not a shadow, not a sigh. When we all get to heaven, oh Lord, what a day of joy rejoicing that we be. When we all see Jesus, we will sing and shout the victory. Let us then be true and faithful, trust in serving every day. Just one glimpse of living glory, with the toils of life we pay. When we all get to heaven, we will all see Jesus, we will sing and shout the victory. A 
of gold. Yeah, man. Hallelujah. Yeah, we we are gold down here. Yes, man. But when we reach there, we'll be walking oh, on yes. gold. Hallelujah. What a day of rejoicing yes, that indeed. will be. Let us all strive to reach yes. that place called heaven yes. where Jesus himself has Hallelujah. gone to prepare for us. Yes. So we are going to be blending our voices together and we are going to sing some choruses of some sweet day. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm going away, gonna leave this world, no more to roam, hallelujah. When I'm going away, I'm gonna leave this world, no more to roam. Oh, sweet day, when life is over, some sweet day, some sweet day. Salah, don't stop. No, you want government. It's a straight one. How soon? The short side. The short side. I'm going to say goodbye. 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 Say goodbye. Oh, 
one more time. Ooh, I'm gonna say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. I'm gonna say goodbye. goodbye. Oh, when my life on earth is ended, I'm gonna say goodbye. One more time. Yes, I'm one. gonna say goodbye. I stay no longer with you. With the joys of sin. I stay no longer with you. Go on with the rest of my life. I made up my mind. Go on with the rest of my life. My world. I stay no longer with you. Goodbye, pleasures of sin. I'm no longer with you. Made up my mind. Go on with the rest of my life. I made up my mind. Go on with the rest of my life. One more time with my words. I stay no longer with you. Goodbye, pleasures of sin. I stay no longer with you. I made up my mind. To go on God's way the rest of my life. I made up my mind to go on God's way the rest of my life. Hallelujah. Now come and do the poor lads. Look at Simo tomorrow in the car. I want to go to heaven. Look at Simo tomorrow in the car. I'm tired of staying down here. I'm tired of the children and the children. I want to go to heaven and rest. I want to go to heaven and I am tired of staying down here. Tired of the trouble and trials. Want to go to heaven and rest. Want to go to heaven and rest. I am tired of staying down here. Tired of the trouble and trials. I want to go to heaven and rest. To go to heaven and rest. Oh Lord, I'm tired of staying down here. I'm tired of the troubles and the trials. Oh, I want to go to heaven and rest. Oh, I want to go to heaven and rest. I am tired of staying down here. I am tired of the troubles and the trials. Oh, I want to go to heaven and rest. Oh, I want to go to heaven and rest. Oh, I had a stain down here. I'm tired of the troubles and trials. I want to go to heaven and rest. Sister Hutchison wants to go to heaven and rest. She was tired of the troubles and trials. I want to go to heaven and rest. Sister Hutchison wants to heaven and rest. She was tired of staying down here. She was tired of the troubles and the trials. Oh, she was tired of staying down here. She was tired of staying down here. She was tired of the troubles and the trials. All I want to go to heaven and rest. Oh, yes, I want to go to heaven and rest. She was tired of staying down here. No more bills to pay. No more fear. No more fear of Corona. Tired of staying down here. Tired of the troubles and trials. I want to go to heaven and rest. One more time. I want to heaven and rest. Tired of staying down here. Tired of the troubles and trials. I want to go to heaven and rest. Tired of come. I had a stain on here. I had a picture of the child. God will go to heaven and rest. Come, sweet day when life is over. Rest your voice and come, sister. Come, sweet day when life is over. Come, sweet day when life is over. Come, sweet day when life is over.
this world, no more to roam. Some sweet day when life is warm. Some sweet day, I'm going away. I'm going away. I'm going to pronounce the benediction, they will go there. Yeah, man. The rest of the thing. Yeah, when I finish. Like what you're here. Let us pronounce the benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you his peace. Thank you. Shalom, shalom. God bless you. Bless you. Thank you for your cooperation and your understanding. I'll make sure I'm going to fix myself back in my way.